Hello guys, I recently received an email as a PHP Storm user customer that there was a new release, new version 2024.2 and I decided to try it out right away and also shoot this video. So I will show you a few cool new features of PHP Storm specifically for Laravel. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated, I don't get paid for that, I'm just a PHP Storm user talking as a Laravel developer. So what new things we have in PHP Storm, we will go through the documentation, the official blog post, but I will also show that in my own PHP storm so first log files support so now if you go to typical laravel log in the php storm it is colorful so errors are different color from info and i'll show you that in a second and also it's all linked so all the stack trace all of those are links and you can click on that and land on specific place in laravel framework or whatever framework that is it may be symphony or something and also it is expanded to the terminal so this is what i will show you now so i added info here and if we open the terminal and try to tail the last hundred rows of laravel log let me open that up see different color of info versus the color of the error message and also as you can see in the terminal as well it's all linked so you can click here and land in whatever file you're interested in the second new thing that sure if you saw that but i highlighted some of the line and we have this extract what is that it's a new thing called floating toolbar to access some quick operation with the highlighted code without even clicking any keyboard shortcuts so for example let's duplicate that line some info too and let's highlight those and see what are the options extract for example method and let's create a private method in the same controller so this info enter and this is the result now we can click into info and this is a method inside of the same controller so yeah the refactoring itself was available in php storm for a while but now it can be done in a floating toolbar immediately after you highlight something like highlight here and then choose what you want to do with that highlighted code another option would be surround with try catch for example and there you go but this is actually a bad example of try catch and i recently by the way posted an article on laravel daily specifically about this example why try catch for eloquent doesn't make much sense i will link that article in the description below but yeah new in php storm floating toolbar the third new thing let's get back to the terminal again and start typing php artisan see now the terminal has auto completing things so artisan then we go make and make what migration no problem middleware no problem enter and then you add whatever you want add is admin to users table also in the documentation it says in the official blog post that ai assistant is expanded to terminal as well but i didn't test it specifically because i'm not a client of ai assistant which costs additional money but yeah autocomplete in the new terminal is already available within the same php storm without any ai assistance the next new feature i really liked i like to click shift shift for search anything and what i like is the preview here for example you type in user and it already shows you some part of the code you click down and then it shows the preview of that file so you don't need to click it one by one anymore you can see the exact few lines of code and whether you're interested in them or not the preview is enabled here with one of the icons you can enable or disable it for example let's enable and go to user factory then another user factory some other files without preview so you get the idea really cool feature in my opinion and the final feature i wanted to quickly show is they improved the one line suggestion with ai local model i've demonstrated it in a previous video i will link that in the description below they just improved it and the best thing i like from here is code highlighting so in a previous video which i mentioned just now if you type it appropriately it would suggest something from local ai like this but there is no code formatting and highlighting here in the new version for example you create that function in relationship you hit enter and you have suggestion with formatting with colors and also as you can see you can click tab to complete but also option tab would complete just one word for you but i've clicked tab so this is suggested by ai approved by myself i really like that one line code completion which is with local ai within the php storm without ai assistant so yeah a few new cool features by php storm 2024.2 nothing really groundbreaking but over the years php storm has been a great 
well, assistant, not AI assistant, but assistant in general in coding with Laravel and PHP for me personally. Again, I'm not saying that as a kind of sponsored person or anything is just my genuine opinion. What do you think about these new features? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.